Welcome to the Pick Connection. Uh, with me again is Brad Geyer. Brad Geyer is the manager of the Fayette County Better Buildings Initiative Program here in Fayette County. And Brad is here again to talk about the uh, BPI audit program. So, uh, Brad, go ahead. Oh, thanks. Thanks for having me back, John. Uh, good to speak with you, everybody, again. I wanted to talk a little bit about the BPI auditor training program that we're doing. As you saw in this program, we're uh, uh, having some weatherization techniques done around the county and uh, folks are coming into homes and doing repairs to make your home more energy efficient. What's happening in many cases, we're sending auditors into these homes to have them test the homes to see how energy efficient the home is and what improvements can best make the home uh, tighter, m make it more cost efficient. Mm -hmm. And so we started this training program in the county in a partnership with the Better Buildings uh, Initiative to train folks into being BPI auditors. Now the BPI is a nationally recognized audit training system and uh, these folks can go into the house and say, hey, uh, this needs tightened up, you need to seal these windows, you need to change this furnace out. Uh -huh. And so that's what, uh, that's what we're training these guys and we're giving them a lot of training to make them, uh, to make them a worthy employee. Yes. So a couple different things happening here for them. We want them to either start their own business or we want them to make them more attractive employee to a company across uh, Fayette County that does some sort of weatherization technique, be it uh, insulation ins uh, mm -hmm. installers, uh, furnace installers, or what have you. So uh, what we're doing through the Pathways Out of Poverty grant in connection with the Fayette County Better Buildings Initiative we're training these folks. So if, if uh, you have a construction background or if you have a background in uh, buildings and repairs uh, or a general handyman, uh, this might be something good for you. If you have an understanding of uh, house construction, this might be a good uh, addition to your assets. Call the folks down at the Pathways Out of Poverty program, the case managers at our CareerLink mm -hmm. office, and they can get you signed up into the program. That would be your first step. And what we're going to do, we're going to offer a couple different classes to get you trained up. One will be a sales class and just give you general sales techniques uh, to refine uh, when you go into a home, um, how you can bring this grant home and how you can really help us sell this grant to the public. Another class we're giving is an entrepreneurial class and how you can be a better business owner. So those people that have uh, a little bit of gumption that they want to create their own business we're uh, giving them some, some training in the uh, best ways to do that. And so we're hoping that this uh, creates a lot of new businesses in the county as well. And then the third component is going to be the computer classes. And we're going to give folks computer training uh, to make them a little more computer savvy, um, maybe tr teach them uh, how to use some new programs mm -hmm. that they may not use in your general day-to-day -day computer usage. Uh, then we're also going to uh, train them a little bit on BPI audit software that they may specifically use as an auditor. Then the fourth piece is the training itself. The BPI audit training is about a week-long training, and uh, it's two parts. It's a written test, and then it's a, they go into a house and really do an in-field test. Mm -hmm. um, so a trainer will take you in, and um, they go through several different uh, things around the house to see how much insulation's in the walls, how much insulation's in the roof, um, if you're leaking gas across uh, in your furnace or your water heater, or even how, uh, even how old the water heater or furnace may be. Mm -hmm. Because remember, as we said before, the goal of the grant is to reduce your energy usage by 15%. And if, reducing your, if we are reducing your usage by 15%, uh, we should be reducing that bill by yeah. 15%. Absolutely. So that's kind of what we're doing with the BPI inspections, um, the the training. Um, From what I understand, Brett, too, the BPI auditors, there's quite a need out there for them. Well, right now, because of the Fayette County Better Buildings Initiative, there is. Yeah. Uh, the Private Industry Council has trained a few so far, but we're looking to train up to 50 across the county in the next year. Wow. So there, there is a big demand. And if you're going to apply for the Better Buildings Initiative grant through the County Redevelopment Authority, you need to have an, an audit done first. And so we need to get these guys in the field um, so they can get the audits done for the people to apply for the grant money. Okay. We'll uh, put some numbers up on the screen, but uh, Brad, uh, sure. could you give us some phone numbers in case somebody would like to call? 
But we'll still get them up on the screen, too. Harry's going to get those up on the screen okay. for you, and that's going to be our best bet right All right. now. The Pathways Out of Poverty people Pathways are, like, out of are poverty. located at the Fat County Career Link, mm -hmm. and that is 724-434-5627. And we'll get the other numbers up there. Great. Our craft uh, producer will make sure that happens. <laughs> um, yeah, two things. We're, we're creating jobs for folks here, and that's uh, what's what I think is most important about the grant. And uh, we're either setting you up so you can build your own business or even giving you more skills to make you a more attractive employee to somebody across the county that, uh, that may need your help. Mm -hmm. so. That's a fantastic program, Brad. Uh, it really is, and it's a lot to crunch into a little bit of time. But uh, so as you said, uh, you can contact the case managers at uh, CareerLink for the Pathways Out of Poverty program or even me here at our private industry council office at 724-437-4590. Uh, okay, and uh, we're going to go out to Smithfield on location, uh, Brad, and we're going to take a look at a home that's being uh, weatherized uh, at this time. Uh, they've gone through with the audits. Uh, they've uh, seen what the uh, house needs. They're in the attics. They're down in the basement. They're, they're involving all those aspects of that program that you talked about, new uh, uh, furnace, mm -hmm. uh, new wrappings on the ductwork, and uh, insulation in the attics. Sure. And so many homes in the county are so old, um, it really seems, uh, seems silly that homes were built this way, but they were, they were. years ago when yeah. they were built, they were built this way, and uh, now it's, our, it's time for us to step in, clean them up and uh, shore them up a little bit and make them better weather, weatherized. Okay. Once again, thanks to uh, Brad Geyer, a manager of the Fayette County Better Buildings Initiative program here in Fayette County. And uh, viewers, stay with us. We're going to go out to Smithfield on location and show you that house. Hello. I'm Tim Yerkeson, the president and CEO of the Private Industry Council, Westmoreland Fayette Incorporated. And you are watching The Pick Connection. Visit the Private Industry Council website at www.privateindustrycouncil.com. We offer employer services, sage skills assessment, personal services, basic workplace skills, government procurement assistance program, customized job training, employer tax incentives, homeless prevention and rapid rehousing programs, welfare programs, and pathways out of poverty, services, training and certifications, eligibility, pathways for employers and pathways for partners, education, adult education services, education and technology, youth services, early childhood development, the Head Start of Fayette County, Dads Matter, Pre-K Counts, Steve Corson's newsletters, community benefits such as the PIC Connection, Telecommunication Center, Community Technology, links, contact information, the message board, and job openings. Private Industry Council, Westmoreland, Fayette, where needs are met, goals are reached. You can also find the Private Industry Council of Westmoreland, Fayette on Facebook. Just search Private Industry Council for updates and information. How you doing? My name's Ken Finney, Jr., and you're watching the Pick Connection. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the Pick Connection. John Evans with you. And today we're on location out in Smithfield at a home that's receiving weatherization. And with me is Mark Santillo. Mark, you are the project manager for this uh, particular project? That is correct. Mark, uh, I, I, before we came on the air, you were talking about a three-step process. And for our viewers, what is the three-step process when you're weatherizing a, a home? Well, it's not always a three-step process, but it, uh, with the home itself, the age of the home, and some of the different things that we're doing with the home, some of the projects are a lot bigger, so it becomes a three-phase proce process. Okay. Um, today we started with the attic. We air sealed the attic. We were actually in the process of ins insulating the attic. And um, I mean, if we could even go up there later on and take, take a look at that. Uh, also, we're taking care of some of the basement work, some duct sealing, uh, duct work from the furnace. It's gonna help the efficiency of that furnace. Um, and approximately uh, like th this size house, uh, Mark, how long would this process take? Is this like a couple day process or a couple hours? Or? Uh, it's actually usually a couple day process. Okay. Uh, we do have smaller jobs where houses don't need as much attention and it can be a one day process or less than a day process. Okay. And how did this particular home qualify to be on the weatherization program? Uh, I actually don't do any of the qualifications, okay. so okay. there's actually a person ahead of me and then up through major offices that determine. Okay. So there's a process that somebody would be interested in, uh, in getting their home 
whether it's eyes uh, by the redevelopment authority, they can contact the redevelopment authority and. Yes. Okay. Uh, actually, the number's right there. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I can't beat that. Yep. You can call, uh, find out what the qualifications are, see how you qualify or whether you're in that, that frame. So on this uh, process you were talking about, Mark, do you usually start uh, at uh, the bottom, work your way up, or does it, how do you uh, decide on, uh, do you do all the, you know, like the, the basement, the middle section of the attic all together, or how does that all work? Well, usually what we like to do is start from the attic, because the attic's going to tell us a lot about the house. Um, for instance, if you would go up and see moisture in an attic, you might not want to insulate it, because if you air seal a wet attic, you could cause mold problems. Oh, okay. So first, we have to make sure the attic's actually clear to insulate. Okay. Uh, there are factors, like I said before, moisture, uh, old wiring, faulty wiring, uh, roof leaks. So you got to make sure that's all tight and sealed yes. before you can actually... Now, that's something you also do, your crew does, is seal those things up? Well, if it's older, faulty wiring, sometimes we'll actually have a subcontractor come in, uh, repair the wiring or reinstall wiring. Okay. Uh, if it's a moisture problem, that's beyond our hands a lot of times, so we'll just have to defer the okay. project. Now, this uh, particular uh, insulation, you're blowing this insulation into the attic? Yes, this is uh, blown-in cellulose insulation. Um, it actually comes in a large cube. It's made of mostly recycled paper, newspaper. Okay. So when you hear the old-timers say about, uh, well, we insulate our house with newspaper, I guess they weren't that wrong. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do now, Mark, we're going to go inside and see some of the steps uh, the crew has already taken to weatherize this home. And that's all we're doing right now, so uh, let's go come on in and uh, we'll take a look at it. Okay, right now we're inside of the home that's being weatherized uh, with Mark Santilla, once again, the project manager. Mark, what's this hose uh, here coming into through the window? What is that? This is actually the hose where the insulation is being fed through to the attic, uh, coming from the hopper which uh, Chaz down there is loading for us, and okay. Brian's up there blowing for us, the insulation. Well, that seems to be uh, working pretty smooth there. Uh, it is. It, depending sometimes on the length of the run, it can jam up, and it's, it's a hassle. Okay, so this runs through here, and I don't know if uh, Harry, our producer, will be able to get all this, but uh, we run through this hose here, and there's a gentleman inside this other room who's up in the, actually up in the ceiling here blowing the insulation into the attic. And this whole attic it's, uh, is going to be... Field, uh, how long does this attic run? Uh, this attic runs, I don't, well, I don't know if you can see behind the camera. There's a chimney back there. Probably about, uh, what, 30 feet maybe? or uh, Guessing, yes, about 30 feet. Okay, all right. Um, also, the slopes, these are slopes in the attic. Okay. Uh, in this situation, we, you don't always run into them, but when we do have slopes, you have to blow these slopes. Okay. Or she'll get heat lost through. And how uh, thick or what's the layer, the, the thickness of the layer that you have to put into these attics, Mark? Well, what we're looking for is what they call R38, which is, they say it's 12 inches. We like to put 14 in because through time that cellulose will settle down. Okay. Um, it goes the same with like the regular bat insulation, you know, for people batting, they're their, uh, doing their own homework. Okay, okay. So once you get this whole thing insula uh, insulated through the attic, uh, what does uh, protect it, uh, like how cold can it get where, 30 degrees below or? Well, I, it's going to keep that up there cold. It's okay. gonna, it's mostly for keeping this warm. Yeah, every gone here is going to be nice and warm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's going to have a lot of lot of uh, weather resistance. Okay. As far as heat resistance, cold resistance. So in your experience, Mark, most of the older homes, this home uh, is like 100 years old at least most of these old homes don't have any type of insulation in them or? uh some do and some have actually insulation that we can't work with also it's a uh, old vermiculite or asbestos insulation oh wow so that's not good the asbestos no no usually we can't work with that we can't disturb it okay and i know your uh gentleman over here uh what is it we can't see him uh all we can see is waist from waist down but what is his name that's brian brian oh. gregor Okay, Brian's a insulating. He looked well protected. Yeah. Yes, that's a must on this job. Okay, he's got the mask on. He's got uh, his, looks like he's got his ankles kind of <laughs> tied together there. His, his pants on around his ankle there. And yeah, you don't want to wear that stuff home. Okay. <laughs> so, Mark, uh, up here is this job. Uh, how long is this taking you to do the attic up here? Uh, well, we've been in the attic for about three hours now. Okay. Is it going to rest of the day or another couple of days? You think or the attic itself? Yeah. 
Well, besides venting the attic, uh, we're just about finished with it. Actually, okay. this morning we came in, we, we built a hatch. It, it was just a rough opening, so we actually built that hatch right there. Okay. And we have to insulate the hatch and a little bit of blowing around it, and we should be done. Okay. And this is a continuing series that the, the Private Industry Council is doing uh, on uh, energy efficient homes, uh, green energy, how to make homes uh, more uh, efficient, try to reduce everybody's cost. And uh, that's uh, some fit into our series. And right now, I, we're going to go down to the basement and uh, see what you're doing down there to try to make it uh, more efficient down there also. All right, sounds good. So uh, let's come on down to the basement with us, and uh, we'll show everybody what's going on down there. All right, right now we're down in the basement of the house. Uh, and Mark, can you explain to our viewers exactly what you're doing down here to make this more efficient? Okay, uh, what we do in the basement is a lot of air sealing. You lose a lot of, uh, just a lot of heat and everything just uh -huh. through air that comes in through your basement and rises up to your attic. So what we're trying to do is prevent air from getting in. Okay. Um, I haven't done it yet, but all, all of this will be actually foamed off okay. with, a, with an air sealing foam. It's a two-part uh, component foam. And it just spreads and covers? Is that it spreads, covers, and then expands. It'll okay. actually expand to uh, fill in cracks. Okay. Um, what we did here was with some of the ductwork of the, the furnace. This is just a start, and we actually sealed this with mastic. This is almost like a now paint. you're putting it around all where the, the uh, all the joints joints come together and even elbows and okay. everything else. Now is this something uh, Mark that say uh, uh, one of our viewers are watching or you know, a homeowner that can go out and purchase this and do their on their own also? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So you can pick this up any uh, home. Uh, uh, probably a Home Depot or you know Windows doors. Any hardware or, stores. Okay. And uh, also, you were saying over here that uh, we'll pick it up on a, on the a film. Uh, there's a hot water tank over there. You wrapped that all up too. Yes, yes, we did. Uh, try to work on the efficiency of that hot water tank. Okay. It looked like a pretty new tank, but we're going to give it a little boost. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that, Mark. Now we're down in the basement of this home. It, I mean, it seems like to be pretty tight down here. It's it's, it, it's warm, but uh, even though if you have a hot water tank in your basement, it is always a good idea to get it wrapped. Well, some of the newer tanks, if you have a newer tank, a lot of them are actually pre-insulated. And you can tell okay. by looking at your hot water tank, it should say whether it's been insulated or not Okay. with a, uh, with a foam. Okay. They make a foam shield inside of it. Okay. If, if not, if it's an older tank, can you go to a hardware store and buy a wrap that somebody could put it on themselves? Sure. It's not actually not that hard. Okay. You just need uh, the, the tank, probably a utility knife, and okay. some tape. Okay. And... Uh, well, that uh, kind of wraps it up here in the house. Uh, we're going to go back outside and kind of wrap things up. At, uh, which is we're going to go right now. Okay. All right. Okay, we're back outside. And uh, once again with me is Mark Santillo, who is the project manager for this weatherization project. Mark, uh, for the viewers out there, someone who may be interested in seeing if their, their home is eligible, what the process is, is there a phone number they can call? Uh, yes, uh, actually the phone number on the side of our truck, we're pretty easy to see. It's 438-2001. Uh, you um, see that number every day, so it's easy for you to remember, huh? Yes, I see it every day, <laughs> and actually uh, we're pretty widespread through Fayette County. Most people have seen us, so. You're, you're right about that. I've seen a number of trucks here uh, throughout Fayette County, and you cover all of Fayette County, yes, is that correct? Yes, from, from corner to corner. Okay, and just some of the equipment back here, it seems like you're pretty well stocked. You're Prepare for just about every, anything you run into? Uh, we run into just about everything, so. Okay. I mean, we have to be ready. Yeah. Mark, what does a typical uh, crew consist of? One, two, three guys? Uh, anywhere between three and five guys, depending on um, the size of the job. Okay. Like this job actually started off with five guys, then two guys ran off to another project. Okay, so you already started another project, finish up, you're going to go run, run to that next project, probably finish that up, and. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of homes in Fayette County need uh, insula uh, insulation. You would not believe. Okay. And All right. we're here to help, so. Great, great. Well, Mark, I want to thank you so much for uh, you know letting us come out here and interrupt your day, your work day. Uh, it's very interesting, uh, very uh, worthwhile to get these homes uh, insulated to save energy. Helps everybody out, green energy, uh, you know, the energy efficient homes and uh you know, that's what we're trying to bring our viewers here in Fayette County, exactly how this all works. So, once again, thanks so much for coming on the show today. Oh, thanks for coming. All righty. And uh, once again, uh, listeners or uh, viewers out there, if you would like to uh, ask me a question, please uh, send me an email to jevans at privateindustrycouncil.com. I'll try to get back to you with, uh, with an answer or any suggestions you may have for the show. Please uh, email me also. And uh, we'll be talking to everybody uh, a little bit later. 
Hi, my name is Brad Geyer, and I'm supervisor for the Fayette County Better Buildings Initiative, and you're watching The Pick Connection. Visit the Private Industry Council website at www.privateindustrycouncil.com. We offer employer services, SAGE skills assessment, personal services, basic workplace skills, government procurement assistance program, customized job training, employer tax incentives, homeless prevention and rapid rehousing programs, welfare programs, and pathways out of poverty, services, training and certifications, eligibility, pathways for employers and pathways for partners, education, adult education services, education and technology, youth services, early childhood development, the Head Start of Fayette County, Dad's Matter, Pre-K Counts, Steve Corson's Newsletters, Community Benefits such as the PIC Connection, Telecommunication Center, Community Technology, Links, Contact Information, the Message Board, and Job Openings. The Private Industry Council of Westmoreland Fayette, where needs are met, goals are reached. You can also find the Private Industry Council of Westmoreland Fayette on Facebook. Just search Private Industry Council for updates and information. Hi, I'm Lori. I'm Brenda. And I'm Amanda. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the Pit Connection. Hey, welcome back. John Evans here. I just want to wrap things up and uh, thank Mark Santillo and his crew uh, for the uh, weatherization project we just looked at. Also want to thank Brad Geyer for being on the show again. And uh, viewers, you can see what i got to go through. Uh, not only do I have to go through uh, tight places, but also i got to deal with animals too. But uh, hey, we'll see you all next month on the Pit Connection.